wants to meet you. Look, I've listened to everything you had to tell me. I don't know if your client is my father. Your mother never... I told you everything my mother ever told me. Bill, m maybe if we talked and spent some time, you'd remember more. I don't want to remember more. What about your mother's family in New York? What about them? You have possible legal claims. There's a lot of money there, too. so scared in my whole life. There was something in that shop. Martin sure gets around. Well, at least we know that there's a connection between Martin and Kathy. That's right. Kathy became interested in the occult right after Martin was killed. I think she wanted to get into the Institute so she could attempt to contact him. Yeah, or to fleece his aunt. Well, listen, if she was part of a scheme to fleece Claire, I doubt that she'd agree to be killed. No, that is a bit drastic. So who was she working with? Russell? Barbara Niles? It could have been any of them. I hate to say this, but Eric Knight's kind of strange. Charlie sent this over, in case you're going to do any more ghost chasing. It's one of those electronic keys they use at the Institute. Bosley, what about our original suspect, Martin? Do you know anything about him? We will uh, assemble outside the monitor booth at midnight. Until then, I expect everyone to remain in their assigned rooms. Try to get some rest. Barbara, would you show Miss Garrett to a room, please? Sabrina? This was Martin's room. Glasses to a dance. What? Come on, Sabrina. Someone's out there on a motorcycle. Bosley, you've been sleeping. We're supposed to rest. Bosley, listen. Bree has disappeared, and somebody is outside on a motorcycle. A motorcycle? Shh. a message. Maybe Charlie's getting thrifty all of a sudden. The rates go down after five. Good afternoon, ladies. You'll please pardon the intrusion, but I have an important business call to make. Not on line one, Bosley. We expect a call from Charlie. Oh, don't worry. Charlie's intelligent enough to call back later if the line is busy. Bosley. Ah, oh, hello, hello. This is Mr. John Bosley. I am the new consultant with the Bell Asher Talent Agency. Bell asked me to call you and close the deal on the Tahitian cruise. 
As I understand it, uh, you wanted three beautiful girls for one week at $1,000 each. Oh, no, no. No, of course not. There's no trouble at all. As a matter of fact, I do have the three girls, and uh, as a matter of fact, they've all signed their own contracts, and they're on their way back to you. Oh, no, I didn't realize that. You really wanted six girls. Uh, well, no, I don't know about that. I mean, to find three more girls who could be ready to sail on such short notice. Uh, look, uh, I do happen to have three ladies in the office just at this very moment. Look, why don't I put them on and let them talk to you themselves? Hello. My name is Sabrina, and, uh, my two friends and I just happened to drop by our agent, Mr. Bosley's office, and it's just a wonderful coincidence because we certainly do love to travel. Well, my friend is absolutely right. Uh, my name is Kelly, and I especially love that uh, warm, tropical climate. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm Chris, and I love all kinds of climate, so I'll go anywhere. <laughs> I'm Charlie, and I love all three of you. Relax, angels. You've earned this vacation trip as a bonus. So, pack your sarongs and bon voyage. <laughs> <laughs>